Let us now look at some examples and of games and Nash equilibria in those games. So here's the first game, a familiar game. This is, uh, of course, the uh, prisoner's dilemma. The uh, if both uh, prisoners cooperate and, uh, and uh, then they get a light punishment, and if they uh, uh, do not cooperate, they get a more severe punishment. If the one cooperates and the other does not, then the cooperator gets a terrible punishment, and the uh, the one that does not cooperate gets off scot gets off scot free. Uh, now, of course, this game has a dominant strategy uh, to defect. No matter what the other agent d does, you're better off not cooperating. And so, um, of course, the only dominant strategy outcome is this one of both defecting. And indeed, that is the only Nash equilibrium in this game. So it's a Nash equilibrium. It's the best response. If the other person defects, then it's the best response to defect. Uh, but in fact, it's much stronger than that. It's best to defect no matter what the other, uh, the other agent does. So, but so this is an example of one unique Nash equilibrium that happens to be a very strong one, a dominant strategy, Nash equilibrium. So, um, so here's another game. This is a game of pure coordination. I think of it uh, as uh, walking towards each other on the sidewalk, and you both can decide whether to go to your respective lefts or your respective rights. In both cases, you will do fine, and you will uh, not collide. And of course, if you miscoordinate, if you uh, one goes to the left and the other to the right, you will collide. So this is a natural uh, game, and in fact, you see that you have two natural equilibria the one that I wrote down here. If one, uh, one of the players goes to the left, it's the best response to go to the left. And conversely, if the uh, uh, other player goes to the right, uh, you're best off going to the right as well. And the others are not Nash equilibria. So here's an example of a game where there are two uh, Nash equilibria, or two uh, specifically pure strategy Nash equilibria. Again, we'll uh, discuss why we call these uh, pure strategy. Uh, later on. Here's a very different game. Um, this is often called the game of battle of the sexes. Imagine a, a couple and they want to go together to a movie and they're considering two movies. One of them a, uh, a very violent movie, uh, Battle of the Titans, and the other a very uh, relaxed movie about flower growing called these B and F. Uh, the wife, of course, would prefer to go to Battle of the Titans, and the uh, the husband would prefer to uh, watch Flower Growing. But more than anything else, they would want to go together. And so here are the payoffs. If they uh, both go to Battle of the Titans, then um, they're both positively happy, uh, the wife more than the husband. If they go, both go to the Flower Growing movie, then uh, the, the, the husband is slightly happier than the wife, but if they go to different movies, neither of them is happy. That's a, that's that's the uh, that's that's the um, the game. Um, um, how many uh, how many equilibria do we have here? Well, again, we have two pure strategy natural equilibria. Uh, why is that? Well, if either of them goes to the Battle of the Titans, then the other one would want to go there too because. If they go to a different one, they would get zero rather than whatever they get here, one or two, depending on whether they're husband or the wife. And conversely, on the on the flower uh, watching movie, flower grow movie. And so, in both cases, they per, the best response is to go to the movie selected by the other party. So, on the face of it, it looks very similar to the game of pure coordination that we have here. But we do see a slight difference here, and it'll, we'll, we'll revisit that later on when we speak about not pure strategies, but mixed strategies. Here's, a, here's another example, the last one we'll look at, and this is the game called Matching Pennies. Imagine each of us, two players, needing to, de needing to decide on some side of a, uh, of a coin, heads or tail. If we decide on the same size, heads or tail, but we decide on the same one, then, then I win. If we decide on different sides, you heads and me tails, or vice versa, then you win. Uh, and so we see this here. If we both decide on heads, 
or we both decide on tails, I win and otherwise you win. By winning, I mean I get one, you get minus one. So this is a zero sum game. The sum of our payoffs is zero. Um, what is a pure strategy Nash equilibrium here? Well, let's think about it. Suppose I pick head. What is your best response? Well, your best response then is to pick tails because you get one rather than minus one. But if you pick uh, tails, then my best response is now to play tail because I want to coordinate with you because then I will get one rather than minus one that I would be getting here. But now if I play um, tails, you'd rather play heads because you'd get one rather than the minus one you're getting here. But again, if you're playing uh, tails, I want to, if you're playing heads, I want to play heads to match. So we have this uh, cycle where the best responses are leading us in the cycle. And so there is no pure strategy in equilibrium in this game of matching pennies.